I'm first going to solve this puzzle, then I'll go through it again and comment on it. See if you can follow the first time through. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button below. After you subscribe, you can click on the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time a video is published. And I like getting your comments. If you have any questions or you want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment. I always appreciate all of the comments I get from you. This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 136. All right. Well, let's. I'm going to go through it. Like I said, I'm going to go through it once without explaining how I got each number, and then we'll go through it again. Okay. Did you follow along? Were you able to see how I got each number? Well, let's do it again. And this time you can... I'll explain how I got each number. And uh, it'll help you understand how... If, in case you didn't weren't able to follow along with every number. Okay, a nine 
was placed there. Of course, that's pretty easy. You've got nine here, nine here, nine here. All right, and then down in the bottom corner here, box nine, we have a diagonal pattern here. Um, in this row, we have a four and a six, and in this column, we have a four and a six. So these are four, six twins. Okay, and with the four, six twins, even though we can't solve them, we have a, a corner pattern here, or a hidden corner pattern, because we know all four numbers. And with that 7 there, we know that's a 7. And then we got a 2 here, 2 here, so that's a 2. All right. And then got a 6 here and 6 here, so that's a 6. All right, and we got 7, 7, 7. And 9, 9, 9. All right, and then we got a six and seven here, six and seven here, so that's a six and seven there. We're missing one, five, and eight in row nine here, and we got an eight, one here and an eight there, so that's a five. All right, at this point, we're stuck. There's no no more easy numbers that I can see. And so, therefore, we'll, we'll have to come up with a, something that will get us past this. And uh, I, I can see some triplets here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but uh, if you want to, you can pause the video and see if you can find a set of triplets. Um, I'm just going to go on, but pause the video if you'd like to um, see if you can find them yourself. Okay, we've got a, in, I'm looking at box four here, we've got a one and a five in this column, so that makes one of these a one and one a five. But we only have two numbers here. All right, but we do have a three here, so a three goes in one of these three cells, and a three here, so the three in box six goes in one of these three cells. Okay, so that eliminates these two rows using double row elimination we know that 3 has to go here or here in box 4. So therefore we have 1, 3, 5 triplets. And so we know that's a 2. So that's how we got the, the 2 there. Now we've got a 2, 2, and 2, and a 2, 2, and a 2, and a 2, 2, and a 2 there, so that's a 2. All right, and then um, I didn't mention before, but we have these four 6 twins, and uh, these are 1, 8 twins, because they're the only two numbers left in this box. So um, with these 1, 8 twins here, we know that's a, one of these is a 3 and one's a 5. We have a 5 here, and once we put that 2 there, we know that's a 5. And so that's a 3. All right, and we've got an 8 here and 8 here, so that's an 8. All right, and now we've got 1, 3 twins right here. Only two numbers left in this box. So that makes these four six twins. We've got a four there, so that's how we got the six right there. And that makes this a four and that a six, because we knew these were four six twins. All right, and with that four, we have a four, four, and a four there, so that's a four. All right, and then let's look at row seven here. Uh, this is actually one or an eight, and we have one eight twins here. Uh, we know that's a one or an eight because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one or an eight. So these are one eight twins. That leaves three, seven, and nine. 
right? And we got a 3 and a 9 in this column, so that's a 7. We got a 3 in this box already, so that's a 9. It makes that a 3. All right, and now, um, we've got a, uh, <clears throat> let's see, a three and a five here in box seven. Uh, that makes one of these a three and one of these a five. So we have ghost threes and ghost fives there and a three and a five there. So we know these are three and fives. So that makes that a one. Another way to look at it is, well, we don't, okay. We've got one eight twins here, but we don't know if that's a one yet or not. So, so that makes um, that a one right there. And then we've only got, um, Two numbers left and we got a three there so we know that's a three and that's a five we only have one number left in box four and that's a five there now let's look at row eight here this right here now that we've filled in these other numbers we know these are one eight twins so that's a 1 or an 8. That's a 1 or an 8. So these are 1, 8 twins. That leaves 5, 6, 7, and 9. we got 7 and 9 here already, and a 6 there. So that's a 5, and that's a 6. And 7 and 9 go here. I actually did those in, in reverse order in the previous time I solved this. I put the 7 and 9 in first, and then the 5 and 6. Another way you can see that is we've got one eight twins here, so seven and nine are the only ones, the only numbers left in box seven here. All right, now we're only missing one number in this column, that's a seven. And we got three, five, and eight here. We got a three and an eight there, so that's a five. And an eight there, so that's a three, and that makes that an eight. We're only missing 1 and 5 in row 1 with that 5. That makes that a 1 out of 5. And only two numbers missing in box 3 here. There's a 1 there, so that's a 4. That's a 1. Because it's 1 and 4 we are missing there. One, The 1 there makes that a 4. All right. Now we're missing 3, 4, 5, 7 in this box. And here's a... 3, 5, and 7, so that makes that a 4. So we have 3, 5, and 7 left. There's a 7, 5, that makes that a 3. Now we only have 5 and 7 left, and there's a 7 there. That makes that a 5, and that a 7. Alright, um, now we're missing 4 and 8 here. Only have one number left in box eight. That's a one, and that makes that a one. All right, and then in box five, we're missing three and eight. Box six, we're missing the one and three, the one three twins we knew about. And now we just have one and eight there and one and eight there. And we're done. All right, so um, these uh, more difficult puzzles are uh, a little bit tricky sometimes, but if you use all the techniques that you that you know about and the patterns, um, you should be able to uh, solve most puzzles. Uh, and you can do that without writing in candidates. Now, there are a lot of techniques and tricks um, on sudokuprimer.com it talks about all these things that we use, all the techniques I used on this puzzle and other puzzles. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, have a good day.